Welcome everyone. My name is Alex and I'm doing technical interview questions here on Lead Code and JavaScript to help you for the upcoming interview. I already have tons of videos on my channel, so please check those out. And if you want me to do some specific problems, please leave it down in the comments below. So today we're doing 367 valid perfect square. So it has 1500 likes, 200 dislikes, and it's an easy problem, but it's a pretty good problem to know. So let's read the problem first. So given positive integer num, write a function which re returns true if num is a perfect square, else return false. Follow up, do not use built-in library functions such as square root. So we don't want to use that function. We just want to do something else to come up with the solution. So if 16 is a perfect square, 14 is not. So how can we do it? So actually the way we're going to do it, it's uh, some sort of binary search. It's, it's basically imagine, so if you get 16, right? So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? So binary search, we're going to pick left pointer and a light, light, right pointer, pointer, and then we uh, get the middle element. And we, we say, if the middle is l smaller, then we move left pointer. If the middle is larger, we move the right pointer. So let's create left uh, pointer. Let's create right pointer. Let's go through this problem. So we have 16 numbers, right? So calculate the middle element and the middle element will be not eight. And then we're going to say, okay, is nine times nine, does it equal to our 16? No, it doesn't. So we're going to move right here. So we need to make it smaller and our middle will be five. We say five times five is 16. No, so it's larger. So we're going to move again. We're going to cut it in half. And then here is going to be a right pointer. And then we're going to say, okay, is three is our target? No. So we're going to move here left. And then we say, is four our target? Yes, it is. And then we return perfect square. So it's basically a binary search. And then the uh, runtime complexity of binary search, it's uh, O log N because we're having every input on every iteration of the loop. Let's say, uh, okay, let's keep this little diagram over here. And let's code it out. Uh, give me a second. Let's code it out here. Here, right, and then middle. Middle will be somewhere around here. Okay. So let's keep this diagram in mind and let's code it out. Okay. So we say let left equal one, right? And then let right equal two nums. So it's one, left equal one and right equals 16. And then we say, we have to iterate over while left is less than equal, less than equal to right. So basically we will iterate until we meet uh, in the middle. And then we have to calculate the middle element. Let middle equal left plus math.floor, floor, right minus left, divided by two. So this is how we calculate the middle element. So in our particular case, we're going to say, what is left? Left is one, right minus left. It's going to be 15. So 15 divided by two floor, it's going to be what? Seven, seven plus one, it's eight. So eight will become our middle element. And then what we have to say, we say if middle squared if middle dot middle times middle equal to our nums so we find found what we were looking for then we'll return true return true else if else if if mid times mid is larger than num so if this eight is larger what do we want to do we want to put right on the place of the middle. So we'll say right equal mid minus one because we already look at eight. So we're going to put right onto seven. Else, if did not two condition did in mid, it's basically our mid times mid is smaller than nums. Then we have to put the left pointer forward for mid plus one. And then if we don't exit out from this loop with true statement, we'll return false. Let's clear this out. Let's submit and see how we've done. 
All right, let's see what the problem is here. All right, so we shouldn't put let here because we already put let up top. Okay, let's submit one more time. All right, so this is here you go. 28% speed, 92% space. So this is how we solve valid port perfect square in O log n time using binary search. Thank you. Please leave it, give it a like and then leave in the comments down below what other problems you want me to do next in the future. Thank you.